How's it going, everybody? There are two mini raptors here, and welcome back to Sonic Mania. Last time we did the Mirage Saloon, Salon Zone, I still don't know how to say it properly. And now we're here in Oil Ocean Zone, a place filled with oil. The diplomatic future of past present. That made no sense, but <laughs> let's continue. Alright, here we go. So I'm honestly not familiar with this zone, but I do know it existed in a past Sonic game at one point. At least a past classic Sonic game, if I'm not mistaken. So. Comment down below if it really was a past zone. I'm just assuming it was because I saw it before. Because I don't want to pull to make false provisions. Anyway, god damn it! Oh, fire! I presume that I can burn the oil. If this game really is detailed, can I really burn stuff? Let me see if I can burn stuff. I want to see if I can burn stuff. If I can burn the oil, if I could keep up with my lads! Ah! Oh, I can! Whoa! My God! Wait, that, wait, I'm just gonna do a test. Can I go down? Oh wait, no, I can't go down here. Wait, let's see, let's see. Can I actually burn the floor down there? Can I go to the floor down? Let's see, let's see. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god! Jesus! I could just set this entire industrial site on fire! Which will be a good thing because this is Eggman's source of energy for all of his contraptionaries. Wow, among other things, but it'll be a great feat to destroy this whole thing just on burning it on fire. <laughs> wow! I can't believe you can do that. Ah, this game really loves to... It really is a huge step forward for classic fans. Really it is. Wow! The burning of fire really is a warm in my heart! I love it! Jesus! Oh, wow! Yeah! Burn them all! Burn them all! Hellfire! Dark fire! Now, Gypsy, it's your turn! Choose me or your fire! My controller batteries are low! God damn it! Now I won't be able to feel the vibration every time Sonic does something or something else, and I really feel good when I touch, touch the vibration, stuff like that. Don't judge me, I love the vibration. It makes me feel like someone matters. <laughs> Jesus, my god, the fire really is everywhere. You have to admit, if that were to happen in the original Sonic the Hedgehog game, I don't think it will have. I, I don't think the Genesis can take it. I mean, look how much pixelation is happening all at one frame for that fire. Nah, I, I, I think it's really, it's, it's really good step up that they did this. Now I'm lost. Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I need? Where do I go from here? Why am I singing in a place like this? This is not a good place to sing at all. Ah, uh, down there! I have to go up there! I have to go up there! No! Oh, you sick! Oh, wait, here, no. Right here. Never mind. <laughs> God damn it. I'm actually having a pretty fun time with this. I might I might have a hard time because we're getting to the we're already in the later half of the game. And I presume there's only like 12 zones, I think. I think, I'm not sure. I didn't look too much because I didn't want to get spoiled by too much stuff. After all, this is my go and take on Sonic Mania. So even though I got things prior to the recording or even before the recording, I um I didn't go any farther than that because well, I want my Reactions to feel genuine, and I want you guys to see my genuine reactions. So this is actually all pretty new to me, and I didn't even know. Even though many people on YouTube especially, they already finished playing the whole game like about 5 or 4 days ago. And I know, I didn't bother myself checking what's next or stuff like that, because, well, like I said, I didn't want to spoil myself. And I'm genuinely surprised by seeing all this, I didn't even know. God damn it, this game really is full of surprises. Which I think, again, I'm gonna point it out again and again. I think that's the main reason why Sonic... Classic Sonic games are m better received, or well more received. I, I just redundant my... Are better received than modern Sonic games. Because granted, mo the modern Sonic games are also good, but... It really also depends on taste. Oh great, we're in a boss battle. We're going to this Bob the Builder looking thing. Come on, yes, but... I think classic Sonic games really know how to surprise the player by just showing stuff that you never thought they would actually do. Like, like, like that. 
all those tops and turvies we've seen in the past zones, I was not... I was surprised that they were doing such a thing. It really is amazing. The modern Sonic games, they kind of do that, but to the point now where it's a bit more expected. And I beat him. I thought I was burning, I was like, huh? Whoa, I can't see a thing. Jesus. Jesus, what the heck? I can't see a thing. Whoa, what's going on? Are we in hell? Are we in hell because we have too much of reality? Ah! <laughs> I like how Sonic just raised his hands up going, ah! <laughs> All right, now we're in Ocean Zone 2, and I guess the world, I guess this place has done so much pollution. Oh, oh, I thought I was gonna die. How do we get up? How do oh, okay. Okay, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. And yeah, to go back to my statement, I really think it's because of the unknown surprises that the Sonic games will show is what gives the Sonic games such a kick. And I think no games better do that than the classic game. Because the modern games, granted, they are pretty good. They also do a little bit of surprises. But in terms of showing it off, I think classic games do it much better. Because I, I don't know how to explain it, but if... If you could compare, then you could really tell. Oh, I want to burn, I want to burn. Burn, burn. Burn, yeah. <laughs> I'm such a bad person. <laughs> burn, burn them all. Like how they burned down my past. <laughs> uh, I have to bring that up, God damn it. What, what happens if, what happens if it, why do I need to put this? Oh, my rings decrease. Oh, I'm getting dehydrated. Oh my God. I guess there really is a chance now for me to fail insignificantly. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> God. Oh, yes, I need that. I need that. Get that, because I don't want to burn alive. <laughs> but yeah, look, look, look at all these surprises. It's just so genuine. But uh, modern games, they do that. I mean, I, feel, I still feel the same amount of surprise, but I never felt it any bigger than Sonic Mania. I mean, I'm surprised by all this. But with Modern Sonic, I kind of like, I was in a way expecting the grandness of it. So I think it's really, um, when it comes to modern games, it really boggles down to more on taste. That's the thing. Well, that can be applied to, oh, to every game you play. But I think modern games are really, really try to focus more into the fact that if you like this kind of game. But classic, it's much, you know, more unique. Not more unique, but it's much more addicting. Like you can actually just any almost any gamer could just grab onto this and just go like, "Wow, I wasn't expecting a game like this to surprise me that much." So I'm really hoping that Sonic Forces can also implement the same amount of like unexpectedness and epicness. Well, its epicness is already there, but the same amount of unexpectedness and topsy turvy that this game can provide, which I doubt. But I will still think it's a good game. I mean, after all, all the games that most Sonic fans and even Sonic haters hate, I also like. For example, um, oh, what's this? I saw something, I saw something. There! Oh, crap! <laughs> like, um, what game? Sonic and the Black Knight. That game was heavily criticized, and for good reason, because the gameplay really is... Ugh! Extremely linear, like it... If you wanna, if you want a game or a, a series of games that really takes the linear thing to a whole new level, to a whole new level, then Sonic, uh, the Sonic Storybook series are the number one games. Are the number one games? I mean, I'm, I'm even gonna say that is better, that is even worse than Sonic Boom, and but Sonic Boom is worse in its own way, so we can't compare that. But I like Sonic and the Black Knight, and you could also say in a way Sonic and the Secret Rings, not because of their gameplay, but because of their theme. The fact that I like the Arabian Nights stories, I like Knights in Shining Armors, combine that with Sonic the Hedgehog, I like it. I will not say it's my most favorite game, but I like it. So it really boggles down the taste. But I think that's the problem with modern Sonic games. It really is... It's, it's completely subjective, in other words. Like, it really depends on the person who plays it. And each person is incredibly different. But for classic games, they're much more, you know... They're much more straightforward, you may say. Obviously, of course, the classic thing taste also applies to the classic games, but still, 
I think a majority of people will still prefer classic games rather than modern games in terms of taste. Because they're just more simple. And of course, when a game is simple, it's easier to grasp and easier to connect to. Whereas the modern games, granted, that it's, um, granted, they're also a bit simpler compared to other modern games, but, um, they're not as grasping or catchy as classic games. I don't know, I'm rambling on because I need to keep on talking, but if you get my, if you got, if you got what I'm talking about, well then comment down below that, uh, what I, what I was I talking about and stuff and like that, because that's what I'm trying to point out, yes. I think, uh, classic games have a better chance of being more catchy. Because it's addicting. I mean, this gameplay is really addicting. But modern games, it really is. It really depends. You have to really hit it right. Because it's more complex and it's hard. I mean, the Mario games got it. Even though it's much more complex in 3D. But they found a way. And I think Sonic has already found their way. But I think it's all in terms of... What you... God damn it. Jesus. It only really comes in down to boggle down the fact of... Um, taste. I really think it all has to do with the speed. I know I'm rambling on, I'm pro I probably lost, I, you probably lost what I'm trying to point out. And I am too in a way. But we also have to point out the fact that speed is also a hard thing to implement in such a variety of, we in a variety of ways. So, god damn it. So, I think Mario has it a bit better because, well, he's more into just pure platforming. Whereas... Sonic, he relies mostly on the fact that he's fast, and it's much harder to implement speed in a much more diverse way. I mean, how do you impl implement speed while still feeling like you're a character? And so that's why people have different views on how to portray Sonic and stuff and like that. Like, my view is that you shouldn't always make him go fast. You should try and, um, you know, how should I say this? Diversify in his moveset, make him feel more like a character and stuff. But I don't know, I, I still enjoy the games. And in the end, it's not really my decision. It's up to them. I don't know, I'm rambling on, I lost myself at that point right now, so... God damn it! Piece of shiza! Ah! Ah! There are many factors that play out into why classic games are better than modern games. The most obvious is being is that the modern games haven't had their footing yet. Classic games already had their footing because it's easy. It's not that hard to implement good gameplay on a 2D environment because it's simple and easy and addicting. Modern games are have a harder time trying to be addicting because they're more complex. I think that's what I was supposed to say at the beginning, but I was just rambling on and on because I was so busy um fighting this guy like I'm failing right now. God damn it! Ah! I don't have enough rings to turn into Super Sonic. Are you serious? <laughs> Oh my god. What did I put myself into? Oh, I think I can almost get it. I just need to be smart in this. But I don't know. What What is your take? I really don't know. To me, I'm still a modern fan at heart. Because uh, I, I like 3D. I was born into the more modern generation. But, oh, okay. Get those things, get those things. Because those things are so annoying. God damn it, they're annoying. They're making me lose my rings. Oh! There, get that! God! Jesus! Holy hell! Literally holy hell! Just put fire on this oil thing and everything will burn. Da 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 Oh crap! Ah! Uh-oh. Uh, DuckTales? DuckTales! <laughs> I said DuckTales! I know! God damn it! I wanted Tails to duck and I said DuckTales and it reminded me of DuckTales, literally. DuckTales! Woo! -hoo! Every day's a fun-filled day with DuckTales, woohoo! Tales of scary do better than DuckTales, woohoo! I didn't watch much of DuckTales to be honest. I didn't have much videos on DuckTales, but I do love their theme song, it's really catchy. Another reason why I love Disney, man. I mean, like, obviously they're not perfect, but damn do they make such good uh, movies. No matter how simple they are. Go! Whoa! Whoa, 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 you almost got me there, lad. Oh no. No! No! Give me a ring! Give me a ring! Okay, okay, okay. Now you, you tentacle things and just go to hell, honestly. Uh, 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 oh god, I need to concentrate in this so bad. Uh, no. No, 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 no. Whoop! Why was I jumping? Uh, there! That's when I need to jump. Damn it. Ah! Ah! Oh, god. Oh, god. No! My ring! My ring! Ah! Now I can't put a pause! Uh, it doesn't matter. No one's gonna love me anyway. 
And I don't mean love as in, oh my god, I'm such a huge fan of you, let me love you. Oh my god, you're so sexy, I just want to do you in bed all the time. No, not that kind of love. Learn the difference between love and lust, people. No. I mean talking about actual love, you know? To the part where you just want them to be a part of their life, you know? Eh, uh, you guys will understand. Or probably, I don't know if you're married. And even if you're married, do you really feel like you love someone? Do you love the person you got married to? Hmm. There are many factors. Can't tell the difference between love and lust. And you know I'm telling the truth. Because... My god, they think that's because a person is sexy or just hot. Oh my god, I'm in love with him or her. No, god damn it, no, that's just... That's a fling, but not a zing. Understand the difference, god damn it. And then when they realize, I thought I loved him. I oh, no, no, you just loved his body. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> oh my god, I've been rambling on. I forgot what I was talking about. And there we done it. And we did without Supersonic. <laughs> okay. Well then, that was amazing. I think I'll go back to Supersonic now because that was that took a bit longer than I take. <laughs> Lava Reef Zone. I think that. I think this was in Sonic 3 and Knuckles? I don't know. Anyway, that will be in the next episode. So, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you understood what I was talking about, honestly. I didn't know what I was talking about. I really got lost to where I was pointing out why classic games are better well-received than modern games. I don't know. You comment down below. Why do you think classic games are being more well-received than modern games? And stuff and like that. And if you're that kind of guy who goes like, Oh no, I prefer the modern games. Me too. I prefer the modern games. But you have to admit, the classic games are being more well-received. Now, why do you think so? Why? My take is that, well, because the classic games are much more simpler, they're easier to grasp. And so a lot of new things, a lot of new additions can be added on, which makes it much easier. With modern games, they're more complex. It's going to be a bit harder to actually get addicted to, and, be, and be, it's also going to be a bit harder to implement new stuff within the complex realm. So, you know, because if you think about it, a really good game is a game where it's easy to grasp but hard to master, you know? So simple yet hard. Opposites come together, really. So, I, I don't, that's my take anyway. I'm still a modern Sonic fan at heart, so I'm gonna be excited for Sonic Forces. But I also understand why classic games are very more well received, because I get it. I'm a diverse gamer and I could understand why. So, anyway, I'm gonna end it right here. Comment down below what do you think, as well as leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to my channel if you like to see more. Bye bye! God damn it, I talk so much in there. What was I talking about?